on. How are you going, guys? Really good. Yeah, hi, guys. Sco, are you feeling good? I feel great. Back from feel Sydney? Great. Yeah, I feel great. What a great trip. Um, really good trip. For happiness. Yeah. Happiness, joy. Um, Elation. Uh, Vibrations. Yeah, like uh, real aspects of um, pride mm. in the work with, that we put out. We are pride and across the nation. What's the... <laughs> Pride is, uh, I don't know. Look, it's been a big weekend. We went over for the West Coast Sydney game, didn't we, Dan? Yeah. Um, we're here to say off the top, it's going to be a different podcast. It's mm. going to be one like you've never seen before. Um, look, happiness, again, is is one thing I probably, it's a word and feeling that I feel like I need to feel right now. Um, Jubilation. Yeah. So, look, we went over to, um, to explain what we did over in Sydney. We went over, we did some guest interviews, some great guest interviews coming your way. And the quality of those podcasts are high level. High level. That's genuine. Genuine. Yeah, absolutely. But the big reason we went over to, uh, over to Sydney was to hang out with the Hello Sport Boys. Now, we did a podcast with them on their platform on Wednesday. Huge sporting podcast, NRL. It was uh, State of Origin week over there. So, they... Mm. Very, very generously carved out some time for us, Tom and Eddie. Got to know those boys. They're doing a lot of same things as we are over here in the West. A couple of legends. Really good hanging out with them. But the big reason. The main maybe, reason. Maybe the only reason yes. we went over there was to do a podcast with them mm-hmm. on our platform. That's right. Return in front the favor. of a pool. In front of a pool for Swimply. We yeah. love Swimply. We love Swimply. And we also love Fleet Network. Shout out to Fleet Network. Powering podcast. Powering absolutely. the podcast for 2023. But I want to reiterate that the big reason we went to Sydney was to do a podcast with Hello yep. Sport. Now, the only reason. I want to make that quite clear that that's what we went to Sydney for. Now, right. um, you may be wondering, who's this sitting on the podcast if you're watching along? If you're listening, yet yeah, you don't know, but there is a third person on <laughs> set with us here. It's not Hammer. Um, I'll, look, I'll let, him, um, I'll let him speak to you. Um, his name's Nick. Hey, Nick. Um, don't speak. Don't say hello. <laughs> Just so you know, don't say hello. I want you to read this statement that uh, I've put together for you. And I want that to be clear. Nick's reading this and it's heartfelt. It's from him, but it's written by me. And um, you haven't seen it yet, Nick, but speak to our audience. Introduce yourself. No, don't actually. Yeah. Just read the statement. Right. spoken to. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Read that out nice and loud. Try it in the microphone. So I'm here today to express my deepest apologies uh, for a recent error that has impacted our beloved sporting port- podcast. As the producer of the show, I take full responsibility for an oversight for not hitting the record button during an episode. Mm, Seems important. This resulted in loss of valuable content and I deeply regret the disappointment and frustration it has caused our esteemed owners. Yep. Our cherished audience. That's you. And our respected guests. Mm. To Dan and Will, I extend my sincerest apologies your trust and support in allowing me to be part of this exceptional podcast is invaluable. And yeah. I'm truly sorry for this mistake that led to loss of valuable content. You're right, it is invaluable. Yep. I understand the time and effort you invest in the podcast and I deeply regret letting you down. Mm. Rest assured, I am taking immediate measures to prevent such an oversight from happening in the future, insur- ensuring the continuity of our podcast's quality. Do you, just pause that. Do you reckon the immediate measures, Dan, might be press the fucking record button? <laughs> Do you reckon that might Is it be recording thing? now? Don't, we check? We don't, don't no, check no, that. no, no. Nick, just keep reading <laughs> off the thing. Just keep, you've got a fair <laughs> hey, bit to laugh, go. Buddy, this is you, serious. You've got a fair bit to get no through. Smiles. That's to Dan and Will. Anyone else you want to apologise to? Sure. Well, most importantly, to our esteemed back chat audience. Mm. Ah, that's me again. That's on me. <laughs> I want to express my heartfelt apologies. Your loyalty and dedication to our podcast has been unwavering. And I understand the disappointment and frustration you have felt upon discovering that an episode was not recorded. Mm. I apologize for failing to meet your expectations and for this inv- inconvenience it's caused. I assure you that I am committed to learning from this incident. Commitment. Implementing additional safeguards. Implementation. And striving to live, deliver the exceptional content that you deserve. Striving. Anyone else you want to apologize to, mate? Yeah, I do. Um, this one personally hurts me because I got to know Tom and Eddie, very nice, nice people. Just read the statement. Uh, <laughs> to our respected guests, Hello Sport, Tom and Eddie, I offer my sincerest apologies for the misrecording of the episode, for your valuable insights and contributions. Mm, they were valuable. Your time and expertise are highly valued, and I deeply regret that this oversight has led to the loss of your meaningful involvement in the episode. Meaningful. I understand the impact this may have on your association with our podcast, and I am genuinely sorry for any negative repercussions. Please know that I'll take steps to prevent such 
errors in the future and ensure a seamless recording process for all future episodes. All right, wrap it up. Thank you for your understanding, patience and ongoing support during this challenging, challenging time. I sincerely appreciate the opportunity to address this mistake and to one day make amends. Today, together, we will move forward, <laughs> continuously improving our podcasts and delivering the exceptional content that you deserve. All right. No, I, can't, I read the end. I wrote that especially. It's quite good, actually. Hang on. I'll un- unlock it. All right. That's your fucking second fuck up. <laughs> just read it. With heartfelt sincerity. I just said that. Okay. Nick, producer of Backchat. Yeah, well, that's you, a question to Scoey, be asked. do you think... Do you think that was good enough? Should you do it again? <laughs> I'm not having him do it again. Now, Nick, I've got one final request. Can you sure. just get the fuck off the show <laughs> right now, mate? Off you go. Thank you very much. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you, Nick. We appreciate your involvement, mate. Boy, all the way to Sydney, you gave, I gave you one job. Genuinely one job. And you know what the job was? It was to press, press record. record. That was it. Press record. So we've done, a, we've done an episode with Hello Sport, all right? You've left your beer come, here. Come in, Jaden. You've left, go, you've go left, you've left your beer yeah, you should have taken that with you, Nick, along with your fingers, mate. Tell you what, some of the steps you're going to take, I hope they're press record button. That's the first step you want to make because we sit down to record this episode with Hello Sport. Oh, where? It was probably an hour, 15 episode we did. I reckon an hour some into it. Some of our it, best stuff. I reckon an hour into it. These blokes, and when I say these blokes, Nick figures out that the green... Green, means, green means go ahead and... <laughs> Press me. Yeah, press me. Press That's me. Right. Red means I'm recording. Green yeah. means please press me. Yeah. And that record button was screaming out for a good hour. Mm. Failed to press it. So we lost the episode that we're going to bring to you today. Am I angry? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Am I trying to be happy about it? I am. I'm yes. trying to move forward. Hey, and w- w- can I just say one thing though? Mm. Like you said at the beginning, this is going to be a bit of a random episode. We did manage to get like... 11 or 12 minutes with the Hello Sport boys. So we've got some. We we've got some, some, and that's going to come after this. We'll, we'll, we'll explain what's happening there. We'll tack that on. And we also, for a little bit extra, hmm. we also sat down after the West Coast Eagles v. Sydney game uh, and discussed what we just witnessed. So the episode coming up, we're speaking to you live from Perth right now, Dan right. and I. We've given Hamish the night off. Uh, we have the live uh, fan reaction straight after mm-hmm. West Coast Sydney. So we went to the Sydney game on the weekend after thinking we just recorded one of the great podcasts of all time. <laughs> and we had a good time. And we did, a, we did another episode after the game. So you'll be copying that from Dan and I yes. um, after we get through some of our ins and outs here. But we did want to bring you that apology off the top. Yeah, absolutely. Because, look, to finalise it, keen mm-hmm. to move on. Absolutely. Is it an understatement to say that I've woken up about as angry as I've been in a long time? Yeah, yeah, that, that is an understatement. I, I would say I'm a level above that. But okay. am I a bigger man and can I move forward and, and bring to you a podcast today? Are you? Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah I am. You Absolutely, are. I am. You are. I'm huge. Yeah. You look up to me all Legend. the time. Absolutely. I'm Legend. huge. I'm a big man. And we can move forward with the podcast. So I'm forward. keen to do that. Absolutely. Well, let's move straight into something that's really happy, right? A really happy thing that we can talk about. West Coast Eagles v Sydney Swans. <laughs> so, like you said, we went to Sydney and we went to we went sat in a box. Shout out to Sydney Swans. Appreciate for, that for that. That was amazing. Hospitality, really good time. hospitality, mate. The box next to us kept giving us pies and sausage rolls. The box in front of us gave us like twenty curries. Ours was uncated. It, ours was <laughs> uncated, but it was because of the other people. So, shout out to the community at the Sydney Swans. Um, let's talk about that game because that was one of the worst things I've ever witnessed in my life. Do you want to where do, where do you want yeah. to take it? You just want to go from the from. Yeah. So we'll, from the we'll do we'll do our usual sort of uh, bit of a laughy laughy on back chat here, and then yeah. I'll give you some serious takes as well. So we went um, to the game with Hello Sport. Uh, it was Tom's first game of AFL. Ed had been to a game before, but I spent some time analysing. I, I, I've actually probably I can't remember the last time I went as a fan, which was effectively the capacity we were in. Yeah, um, I did give votes for the best on ground. Actually, yeah. nailed um, it too. Yeah, nailed it. Shock. Uh, but I was analysing the game probably more than I thought I would be because I was trying to explain to the guys what was happening. They loved that. Yeah, well, they did because um, if you're an AFL fan, you go to the game and you watch the ball go around and you kind of just accept what's going on. But I was really giving them a bit of insight uh, as to what was happening in front and behind the ball and like why things were happening, you know, how you work out structures in the middle of the game, which meant that I was quite all over what actually happened because I think a lot of fans would be out there right now listening to this going... What, what just the f- happened? What the fuck happened? Yeah. Now you wore a Sydney scarf to mm-hmm. the game. I did. Um, one of the one of the Hello Sport boys bought you a gift. I think that's 
I think that's your excuse for wearing a Sydney Swan scarf. But it, but would it be fair to say that you cursed the West Coast Eagles? I did. Eagles? I cursed the West Coast Eagles. Um, Tom, Tom was like, mate, you want a scarf? And I said, oh, you know what? I'm here in Sydney. Let's you were get hesitant. a scarf. I, I, was always, I was also offered a scarf. Yeah, well, you're a bigger man than I am. And then we went and sat in the Sydney Swans box and I thought, you know what? I'm going to rep the scarf because they've hooked us up. Yeah. So it was a bit of that, but I did curse us. It was fair, but you completely cursed the West Coast mm. Eagles. They're the biggest loss in the history of the Sorry, football Simo. club. Sydney's highest score ever. They... Look, because I was analysing, I kind of saw what was happening. The first like three minutes, they had three centre clearances and they were walking it out the front. And I remember saying at the time, like, boy, oh, geez, they haven't started well. Mm. Not going well. Um, how many goals they kick in that first quarter? They kick eight, I think. Something like that, yep. And so it's not a good start to have uh, off the top. But again, I was sort of um, speaking to the boys about uh, what West Coast were doing behind the footy, which was giving Sydney... Uh, a loose man behind the footy. West Coast were trying to help defend. Um, they started Jack Petrocelli, Luke she- uh, Luke Shuey, and Elliot Yo behind the ball, um, which none of them are everyday backmen, mm. especially Petrocelli and Shuey. I mean, Elliot Yo has played there, but they were they were clearly trying to get some ball use going. But what happened was they couldn't get the ball. No, like they no had real. they had no dominance whatsoever in the middle of the ground. And then, yeah, it went downhill from them. There was little stages in the first half where we saw a little bit of life from West Coast, yeah. I thought. Like, at one stage, they were down by maybe 30. Like, they started poorly, but then they kicked a few goals to start the second, maybe. I thought, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, Jack Jack kicked a goal, then Oscar kicked a goal. There was, there was a bit of something. There was a bit of something about it. Hey, Jack Petricelli never plays in the back line, but he was actually decent. No, he was No, he was not. No, he wasn't decent, unfortunately, for Jack. Um, saw on the AFL, he was one of their best on. But I mean, they they gave the best players for that, did they? <laughs> yeah. So if we get more into a overview, you know, we know how the game's gone, right? <laughs> Not here to tell you yeah, how no. the game went, right? Lost by 171 points, a big loss. I've got some thoughts on how it happened or why it happened because, I, like, when I, um, you know, either talk smack about them or talk, you know, analyze things, I still do have like thoughts and feelings about the football club, and I've been thinking a lot since it happened, like why? Because. I reckon there would be a lot of people thinking the same thing. They've been bad all year this year, West Coast. Lost by 100 points three other times. So it's not like that was an out-of-box performance. No. So the takes around that are, that are saying, um, you know, now now Simo's got to get sacked and now this is going to happen. I still personally don't see it that way, like that it was an out-of-the-box thing. I yep. think it was just an extension of how bad they've been this year. That doesn't mean those things can't happen, that people don't lose jobs, you know. You can't just continue to perform poorly and and do that. But overall, I kind of think, well, nothing's really changed, has it? Like it's no. What's the difference between losing by 170 points to 100 a points? Yeah, it's just 70 points. But <laughs> yeah, but still, it's not. You're not like no. So look, where I've landed on is, um, I think that was a full exposure of of how underdeveloped this list is. Yes. So, um, I don't think. I don't think young players are getting the, you know, proper development at the footy club, and that's that's not just um, that, that 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 that's caused by a lot of things, right? That's co- caused by coaching, like that helps develop players. It's caused by the waffle situation at the moment. I don't yes. think that's set up correctly. It's caused by injuries and having to expose younger players to situations they don't get exposed to regularly. Uh, it's it's affected by the players themselves, like. You, you 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 can have great leaders around and there's great leaders there. Like I know what Luke Shuey does as a leader. I know what Shannon Hearn does as a leader. I know what Andrew Gaff does as a leader. Like these guys are good leaders, been leaders of the football club for a long time. But to be a good leader, you need good followers. That might sound ridiculous, but to like be led, you need to be a follower. Like you need to yeah. go, right, that's what I, that's how I'm going to be. Like I'm going to be like Luke Shuey. Never have miss the buy-in. A, never, yeah, never miss a recovery. Always first out on track. Never misses a kick in training. He can do all those things, but if no one's following and like getting you up to speed, like you could you could have, who's the greatest leader you can think of? If I think I'd say leadership. Who do you think of? I say leadership. You say. Oh, gee, that's a tough one. I say leadership. Pick any sport. You say. LeBron James. There you go. He's a good player. He's a leader. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has good followers around him. And when he's been at his best, he's had good buy-in. Absolutely. Della Del- 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 that year. Yeah. Just Kevin like, Love, Curry just, Irving. Just get around him. And mm-hmm. like, so I, I think sometimes that leadership's actually caused by like great great teammates and great followers. And right now, West Coast don't have that. Their, their players are not up to standard. And it's been caused by the football club. Mm-hmm. And that and that's across there. Um Lots of ruminations this week around, um, you know, who's going to lose their job, what's going to happen, 
Uh, Paul Fitzpatrick's come out and said that not, Adam Simpson won't be getting... Back look, him in. I think in the next week uh, to 10 days, if they get a similar result against St Kilda, I don't say 170 points, but if they lose and lose big against St Kilda and they're not competitive, which is what they were this week against Sydney, uncompetitive in any element of the game, like right through from centre bounce to behind the footy, one-on-one as defenders, to ground balls around the ground, to as forwards, no one was competitive. There wasn't one player. Did you see Did you see that thing that the um, on the internet people were talking about that one um, bounce where Hickey went up un- uncontested? That was a minute to go in the last quarter. I think you're pretty much well and truly checked out 165 points down. like that. that that's what I would read on that. That wasn't in the first minute. Yeah, but, yeah. There was thing, but Tom Hickey got the first two centre clearances of the game. That's yeah. what I'd be showing. Mm. Okay, so... Um, you distracted me. I was building up to a big point. Can't remember what I was saying. No, you're saying that they've in the next ten days. After Thank the you. In the next ten, in the yeah. next ten days, uh, there will be a change. That that there, there, someone will get sacked, step down, retire, delist themselves, uh, quit. Any of those things. I think in the next ten days something will happen. You you you. You unfortunately, and this is hasn't been my take for most of the year. Right, we've spoken about this the whole time. Mm-hmm. I I don't think I've been uber critical. Um, no. I've been made to look like an absolute idiot by backing them in to make the top eight. I'm, I, that's the one yeah, thing yeah. that has happened. But I think my criticism has been quite minimal. There's been incidents that I get really fired up about, not sticking up for your teammates, yes. all of that sort of stuff. But I just think they're going to have to change something. Unfortunately, and what that means, it could be player, could be coach, could be administration. I don't think they'll be able to continue, keep going on like, oh, we're just going to get better in the long term. Like that, they won't, they won't be able to survive the pressure that gets put on them externally. What no. do you, I, I don't know. Well, but if they back in Simo, right? So it has to be a front office person that makes some sort of decision. Because mm. if they can't, they can't back in Simo and then a week later sack him. I reckon they can. It's reckon definitely could? happened before. It happens in other sports all the time. That definitely could happen. They, you know, the the CEO stuff's been talked about. The fitness has been talked about. The players have been talked about. I just think someone or something will change. Okay. It, it, it is inevitable that you cannot. You cannot. Members won't cop it. Fans won't cop it. Media won't cop it. The public won't. The footy community won't. You can't just be losing by hundreds of points and have a horrifically bad season as a footy club and not change anything first you will I think not be able to do that first time i think i read something like first time in history that a team has lost percentage points for 12 games in a row i think to bring it back it's the first time like there were some bad performances over the weekend right absolutely um uh eagles v sydney mm-hmm. all time low all time one that springs to mind is not pressing record on the mm. uh, episode with the nick hello Sport boys. yes nick the producer not pressing the button like he's meant to uh look I think there'll be change. Uh, horrifically bad day for the club, but it was kind of good to be there. It was. Was it? I mean, you, mate. I, I, I mean, you can't come out with this, mate. You were wearing a Sydney scarf. You were wearing a Sydney. I, I, I'm I, telling you, it was kind of good to be I there. I was wearing a Sydney scarf, but I was vocally getting trying to get around the boys. I was doing everything I possibly could. What do you think about this talk about uh, fans boycotting the first quarter? Junk. Junk, right? Yeah. You've been doing that after halftime all year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Uh, no, nah, look, I saw that. I don't know what that... Well, oh, well that's a change. Uh, things like that. People have... I don't know. You can't just expect people to do the same thing, get the same results and nothing. Like, th- there will be change. Okay. Mark, mark, mark my words. Even though I don't know, have any, any inner workings or knowledge of what's going on in there, I'd have to say there's going to be change. There's some... Bigger things than that coming up on the Absolutely. podcast, though, Dan. Bigger. We, we, we were just talking about how good it was sitting in a box. But I tell you what, the box that we have on offer for our patrons is how many times better? You've sat, you've sat in both, right? Way better. Way better? Because it was pretty awesome what the, we were doing. The Sydney box we had was like an outside corporate box. We yeah. had a eight seats, um, sort of like it was in a glassed off area, but like open. Yeah, there I like a, that. I like that. There was a glass door behind us, mm. cutting us off from all the, ple- you know, all, yeah. the, all, the, all the normal <laughs> people. Access to a bar. Yeah, there was access to our own bar. It mm. was quite quite a good setup. Yeah. This West Coast patron giveaway that we have coming up this week. So you have like 24 hours probably as you're listening to this to, to become a patron if you're not one, to go into the draw for four tickets this weekend against St Kilda Corporate box, fully serviced, fully catered, food, beverages, car park, 
What? Yeah, underground car park. You get a car park. Yeah. That's almost worth the price of it. Underground car park. So I would say this is valued over 5000 bucks. That's ridiculous. And w- with the box, We're right? We're just giving it away. With one of these boxes, you don't have to you don't you don't ugh, you don't rock up like 5 minutes before bounce, right? Nah, you can... Doors open 2 hours pre. <laughs> get so on the good. beers. Have some food. That's that good. So we, un- we unfortunately won't be joining you. No. We've, we've, we've taken it upon ourselves to give up our tickets. That's yeah. how we're giving this away. You take three friends with you. Um, so let's say Wednesday midday we'll, we'll release this. So wins- okay. Well, Wednesday the 28th of June, this, yeah. we're doing the draw. Yeah. Midday. 12 o'clock on Patreon, we're going to release who is going to be the winner. So you've got until probably 10 o'clock on Wednesday morning to get your final uh, entry into So you need to get Patreon. on our website. Uh, which is backchatstudios.com.au. Great. Backchatpodcast.com.au exists also. You can sign up there and link tree yeah. on our Instagram. Yeah. So all you have to do, sign up to be a patron, uh, be minimum five bucks. Hey, we'll be like a bit more from it. Yeah, we would. But we do appreciate the patrons that already exist. So if you're a patron right now, rest assured you'll be looked after mm-hmm. in terms of how many entries you have into this. Yes. But if you are not a patron, you can become one and go into the draw for four tickets to West Coast V St Kilda, drawn Wednesday, the 28th of June at 12 p.m. Yeah, Australian Western Standard Time. I'd assume so. Yeah, of course. Um, this Thursday night, another big thing. You right. can do all three of these things. Let's have a breath. Okay. Patron giveaway. That's it. Yep. Huge news. Yeah, it's huge, huge news. <sighs> right. Nick not pressing record on the Hello Sport podcast. Yep. Huge news. Huge news, <sighs> but negative. <sighs> This is, a pos- this is a positive though. Negative energy in, yep. positive energy out. I meant to say the other way around, but you know what? I'm a bit rattled, <laughs> I'm a bit matter. angry. <laughs> and that's going to happen on the big job sometimes. We've got some big news. Big news. Thursday night, the the best new beer to enter the universe ha- is happening. Thursday the, the 29th of June. 29th. 12 hours after we draw the corporate boxes. Maybe you could come to both. Maybe you could do Absolutely. both. We've launched a beer with Shelter. It's so good. Our bloody good friends at Shelter. And that's why we're sitting right here. Do we have the cans in here? No, no we, we don't. don't. All right, they've just been canned because they haven't been released yet because so we're fresh. releasing them on Thursday down at the gate. Bar and Bistro in Coburn. Yes, is it a bit of a drive for us? It is, but that's how much we want to see you there. It's a little stay K. Yeah, so we're going to Coburn. Make sure you get there. 6.30, beers with Backchat, launching the Backchat Ale. Are, we, it are we putting like? up some beers? Are, we, are we putting up Absolutely, some beers? Absolutely, Shelter R. They are certainly putting up some Great, beers. Great. No, be, there'll, be, there'll be back chat ales given away. We'll be there having a chat. We're not going to do an episode. No. Nah. Just, um, just a little, little bit just fatigued. Come have, just come have a beer with us. Mentally, the, oh, from the last twenty four hours, got to be yeah. honest. The, the beer is so good, right? So we you taste it. We, I, you made yeah, it. Yeah, well, basically made it. Um, shelter. We were talking with shelter. Let's let's do a beer together where you can have as many of them as you want, where you're not feeling yuck because it's you know big high percentage. It's a sit down. You grab a sixer. You watch the footy. I would just, say it's it so represents good. Represents Backman. Back. It's called a back chat ale. Yeah. It just gets the job done. It gets the job done. Right? I, how do you describe the beer? It just gets the job done. You, you get it, you drink it, taste like beer. How bloody good. I, I, don't, I personally don't need anything more out of a beer than tasting like beer. And a good it's beer delicious. that, right? It's so delicious. It's an Aussie so. pale ale. Mm-hmm. Great design by our, our man Sammy yeah, uh, shout over out in Sammy. Melbourne at the moment. But he's done the design work. It looks bloody beautiful. Check it out on socials. And we'll see you Thursday. This Thursday night, Beers with Backchat at the gate. 6.30 kickoff again. Watch across socials to be there. Mm-hmm. Come down. We've got free beers to give away. Hey, might even give away a couple more tickets to the West Coast game. I don't know. I might find Ooh. some little special give- giveaways in here. Hey, we might get Nick to bring something in to apologize to some more people. <laughs> oh, my trophy broke in Sydney, by the way. Where my it, trophy is you, broken. Boy, um, one of you lads over there, thank you very much. It br- bring the full, <laughs> full yeah, thing. Bring, it's in three it's parts. In three parts. Uh, so the please first, don't trip over anything. First time we, first time, I'll, I'll take the ball, please. I'll have these two. Just hold this up. Uh, so first, first time we when we rocked up to Sydney, we grabbed the trophy out and it was a bit loose. No, it was it was pretty broken. It was the ball had come out. <laughs> yeah, the ball had no, the come, ball come out. out. We did the episode with Hello Sport. So tune in to Hello Sport if you want, want to know what they're about. We'll be on their um, platform on Wednesday. Fair yep. bit going on. I know there's a fair bit fair going, going on. on. But the, we, we, we know you can take it on board. Back chat with listeners. Absolutely. So the, the ball's out of the trophy. Oh. It makes me feel like I want to roll the arm over a bit. It's It just needs to be re-glued, but that was a sad thing that happened. So um, I broke my trophy. Sorry, Beck Const uh, broke my trophy, mm-hmm. and she's repaired it, apparently. It's repaired. I'm going to call that a repair. 
I'm amazed at the ball. The ball's come out. Yeah, feels I, peeled quite off, good. I peeled all the glue off as well. The so it's nut just a fresh feels ball. pretty good in the yeah. hand. So this has been with us from the get-go. Day <laughs> yeah, one. Absolutely. Um, okay. 16. Another negative, I guess we've got, it's a bit of a roller coaster an episode. I is am this so. Is standard. Is this standard Yeah, size? that's standard. Yeah, you've got big hands, mate. Is this standard size? Yeah. Or is it kid size? No, there's no kids cricket below. I mean, there might be a kid's under cricket. 12s. Yeah, that's fine. Like, feels, the nut feels beautiful in the yeah. hand. Yeah. Do, do you want me to show you how. Look at that. Oi. Yeah. Hey. Oh. oh. <laughs> you're, so you're more of a wrist spinner. I'm more of a seamer, but. I'm more of a wrist, am I? Yeah. What are you? You're a seamer. Yeah. The seamer is like medium. I like, I like, to, I like, to, like to use Ollie the seam. No, I use the seam right. to get the spin. Um, I tipped so poorly. Mm. Like you and I were, I was like 30 or 40 ahead of you. I don't have the most recent up to date rankings. I because got three. You got three. I, got I th- three. I think I got three too. No, I got two. I had a, I had a horrible week, but so, someone, yeah. someone's gone whack again and won the camfield 250 dollar voucher so if you're not aware tipping we do it every week yeah you can still join you can join uh over on our link tree um it's on afl website the back chat tipping yeah. league it's easy to join you've you got to still be a join patron it. yeah you got to be a patron of course so you sign up as a patron hey yep. here's an idea if you're listening along you're not a patron and you're not in the tipping comp sign up to patreon mm-hmm. become a patron enter the tipping comp uh, enter the box. The box so competition, all, yeah. as, as, And th- at the end of next weekend, after you've won the four seats to the corporate box, yep. you've just been had the best weekend of your life, you can cash in on the $250 voucher you can win each week with a Canfield. And to just tell you and show you that this is very possible, that people that are not winning the competition win this every week, because that's what happens. Of course, yeah. We've had someone win for the second time this year. Round 15. Second weekly prize. El Duble. <laughs> doubled up doubled up on the 250 voucher we've had someone win twice and i'm about to tell you who it is yeah tell and us it's who it gonna, is it's gonna, gonna, gonna ruffle some feathers i reckon well i don't know how you prevent this because the first time it happened i was apologetic and i was like look you can't rig it there's no this isn't run by us. the platform's not no, run by us that's the good thing it is all on afl.com.au so go and audit it if you want to <laughs> Right. Yeah. The winner of the prize this week is Patrick J. Lay, my father-in-law, for the second time. And just just so you know, like again, it's there's no rigging. He has absolutely nailed this all year. He texts me daily about tipping. <laughs> he is some sort of like professional tipster. He hit the margin on the head, got six from six. He, he's, I think he's the third in the tipping comp for overall margin. Yeah, like he's all, That's he's right. always around it. Like he's close all the time. How does that even work? How do you get? How do you? How I'm do you skeptical good at that you can be good at tipping. Like I, I don't think it's a thing you can be, you can do. And and my father-in-law has just proved it. That how many people are in this comp? There's like 400 people in it, and yeah, this bloke's won it twice. Twice. Good, good on you, Pat. I'm happy about it. But the other ironic thing is, Patrick doesn't drink, so he's got a two hundred fifty dollars voucher five, to Camfield. Did, has he already gone to the Camfield? No, he hasn't. He's got five hundred dollars voucher. So I would like to take some, um, maybe a request via Patreon. Um, if you want to go with Patrick to the Camfield, you want to meet he him. He would there. absolutely take you. He goes to the West Coast games every every week. He's yep. got seats right there. He's a complete nuffy, right? Mm. Full blown West Coast nuffy. He'd be absolutely seething at the moment listening to this. Oh yeah, he'd love to meet you there at the Camfield, right? Yeah, he's the sort of guy that would. Yep. So congratulations. Um, there you go. Enjoy. You send it, we read it. You send it, we bloody read it. Yeah, there's a you send it, we read it. Thanks to Leadable Cameras. Leadable Cameras. You know what? We're not going to do it right now, but I Aren't wanted we? to get the sting in there because right. it's thanks to Leadable Cameras. They hook us up. Lights, cameras, sting. stands, absolutely everything. The sting. Do Shout you reckon out to Troy. they do um, maybe signs that say, press this fucking button when we're doing a podcast. Do you think they do things like that? Because they're, they're, they're right into the tech side of things and I feel like it might be something that <laughs> well, maybe you know we could use. On the Roadcaster, which they also sell, the light does hover green. Like it, goes, it flashes green when it's not recording. Does it? Yeah. So it's a flashing thing. It's like it goes, it It's pulses. almost like it'd be obvious if it wasn't recording. If yeah. you, and especially if it was your job to do that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. It's slippery the best. I tell you who wasn't Swimply the best. I said who's Swimply not the best is Nick, our producer, on the weekend. <laughs> he was Swimply not the best. The Swimply episode that I paid overs for our Airbnb to yep. do at, right? Which you will see at Random the end of this episode house. if you're watching. Yep. Thanks to Swimply, back end of this episode. <laughs> but we owe them another one now because we didn't get the full one in. Yes. But Swimply the best. Absolutely. Not Nick, the producer. No. <laughs>
we got three very good goals this week um, to, to have a look at on our socials. So uh, tomorrow on our social media page, back chat. Uh, double underscore. Yep. There's going to be three highlights for you to have a quick look at. Uh, you're going to vote on the best one. So it's between Cozzy Pickett, kicks mm. a ripper of a goal, oh. Stringer, the package, oh, the and uh, Andy Brayshaw. Brother of. Brother of, Hamish. So there's mm. three there. Have a look in our socials tomorrow. Uh, Swimply, of course, they they are big supporters of the podcast. Uh, if you got a pool or you want a pool, yep. um, got to say a big shout out to Paul. He yeah. sent in his pool. Um, send in your pools. Yeah, send in pictures of your pools. Well. Hello at backchatpodcast.com. You send in your pools. Uh, this is from Paul. Uh, he says, Hey, Legends and Charlie. He's a Freo supporter. I had to do it. As requested, here's a couple of pics of my pool. It ain't, um, it's quaint, cozy, and undercover. So it doesn't matter what the weather is doing. My pool is good all year round. And I've seen the pool. Got to be honest, that is a correct fact. <laughs> Uh, granted, there'll be no Olympic lap records performed in it or any laps at all if you're bigger than a tadpole. But hey, it's my pool and I bloody love it. Uh, he's put in the request. If you send in the best pool, we will host an episode yeah. at your house. At the moment, Paul is leading. He is leading. I will say he is leading. Uh, he's sending his bath. <laughs> and he's got the kids' toys on the side. <laughs> it's got bubbles in it. It's got bubbles. It looks pretty inviting, to be honest. We were going nice to do tiles. the episode that uh, Nick didn't record um, from the pool. We're going to yes. do it in it. Then we Bloody realized freezing. how cold it was. Sydney's so cold. Really cold. So uh, if you want your uh, house featured or your pool featured, uh, thanks to Swimply in our um, episode that we need to redo now, hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Send us a photo of your pool. Send it us on socials. We'll yeah, feature it. That's we what, don't have to feature it either. No, we don't have to. Okay, last thing, we, last thing I'm gonna, we're going to do before we throw to Sydney as we travel back in time as we go to Sydney it's actually it's, quite good I watched it before because I had a, a, there were some concerns the post game review may have been a little bit uh, uh, might have been a little bit going? inebriated mm. um, but it was pretty good we had a good, we had a good, good. night at the footy hey, hey we had a couple of beers yeah. but I had to give the votes out so yeah. I was I no, was, respectful. Well it, I was very course. respectful for that I was, I was concerned I will say the three votes I did give Errol Gooden won the, won the medal good well done Batchai Backman Award it's the biggest award in AFL land Brownlow can get in the bin. The Coleman, no one gives a shit. This is the Backchat Backman Award, and we've got three brilliant Backmen to give uh, to give votes to. A little this bit week. of a teaser here. We had Dave Matthews, the CEO, on uh, Backchat Podcast. Mm, they'll be out in the next three to six weeks. Yeah, so while we're talking about podcasts, a fair bit going on in podcast land on Backchat Studios. We've got our guest stuff, of course, some great episodes coming up. Um, I believe Carl Langdon's coming in very soon to do an episode. What? Tomorrow, I believe. What? I need to tell you that. Um, uh, we have the Four Wheel Drive podcast with Liam Duggan uh, and Ronnie Dahl. Now, two couple of Four Wheel Drive legends. Can we speak about what um, Liam Duggan does uh, in his spare time? No. No. But what he's mainly focusing on is the Four Wheel Drive podcast. Absolutely. Uh, thanks to Shelter yeah. once again. So if you want to follow that, it's called The uh, 4WD Podcast, The Four Wheel Drive Podcast. I'm actually Genius. shocked that wasn't taken, to <laughs> yeah. be honest. What should we call it? I was a quick Google around. No one's called a potty the four-wheel drive podcast. So the four-wheel drive podcast. Rough and tough um, that's, Ronnie Dahl. That's been on our feed, right? Yeah, You've it's been, been on our feed. for the, We do it for about four or five weeks or so, but it also lives on its own feed. So you can go there, subscribe. You can like it. It's also on our YouTube page, Back Chat Studios YouTube page. It's got its own playlist there. You can see what Liam Duggan looks like if you don't know who that is. And Ronnie Dahl, absolute four-wheel drive The legend. other thing I've been liking is uh, Body Magic, Jared Magic doing his thing over at Fat Chat by Body Magic, another one of our new podcasts at Backchat Studios. Uh, he sat down with Jack Crisp. He was a man that we beat in the Crispy. 2018 Grand Final. Unlucky, Crispy. Uh, but we got Jared to interview him because mm -hmm. you know, he didn't want to sit down with the Premier. No. Um, he may become one of those this year, though, Jack Crisp, playing very good footy at the moment at Collingwood. But they've had, they've had some great interviews over there. So if you like a bit of an interview from a different scope, have a look at that, Fat Chat by Body Magic. But I've butted into the most important part. So I led into that with Dave Matthews. We spoke to him, GWS. The Backchat Backman Award, revered um, across the league. Um, look, the Golden Fist was the, you know, we, we had a thing about the Golden Fist where that was at. Mm -hmm. And we thought we'd love to do that because it was really the only thing that was acknowledging Backman around the league. Uh, Taylor Walker got a vote in that two weeks ago. Ooh, so Ben Dixon's running it. Um, don't call out too many people in media land too much. But Dicko, if you're listening, time to hand over the reins, I think, mate. Yep. You're putting Taylor Walker in it. That's disgusting. 
Um, it's embarrassing, and it doesn't. Dacos, rep- it doesn't. Dacos is winning it. It doesn't represent what Backman are. No. Yeah, Nick Dacos is winning. Hey, Nick Dacos probably going to win the Brownlow. Yeah. Does that sound like a Backman to you? No. Not Does at that all. sound like someone who plays in the back line? Someone who wins a Brownlow medal? Wouldn't have thought. So this represents real Backman. The Backchat Backman Award. We spoke to Dave Matthews. He signed off on us sponsoring a player next year. Can I release this? Yeah. I mean, it's going to be released. It, it might be even partway through this year, right? Look, I think we're going to be able to get on the back end. We've spoken to the CEO of a football club and he said we could sponsor a player. And he's, and he's the CEO of GWS. So who do you think we spoke about? Stephen Cornelio? Midfielder. Nah. Lockie Whitfield? Nah. Josh Kelly? Nah. Toby, All good players. Toby Green? Great player. Legend. Hey, we spoke to him too. Yeah. Great player, Huge great Toby bloke. Green fan now. Don't play in the back line. Although, can confirm, Toby Green started his career as a backman. True. Past the point. We've spoken about Jack Buckley. Don't know if we can confirm it yet, but we have spoken about Jack Buckley with the CEO of GW. We're in discussions with his people. So the the votes for this week. Yeah, I'm going to run you through from from vote one. Darcy Moore gets a vote. Darcy Moore. Look, he hasn't uh, featured very heavily no. in the votes. In fact, this is his first his vote first for the time. year. Mm. Having a good year, Darcy. Brilliant. Got, got to admit, all Australian material will probably be the Australian captain. Actually, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's between him, John Dawson. Uh, who's Port Adelaide's captain? Tom Jonas, who he's dropped at the moment, although very good backman, can't get a game, so he's not going to be the All-Australian backman. No. I think I think it's out of those two, Darcy okay. Moore, Jordan Dawson. Darcy Moore, one vote, two Gets votes. Gets his first vote, so congratulations, Darcy. Congrats, Darcy. Uh, two votes go to Brennan Cox. He's had a good year, Yeah, he's Brennan. been pretty consistent. Um, they were poor last week, Fremantle. 21 marks inside 50, their own 50. How do you stop that? Well, you know. Backman? You, you go backman style. Mm-hmm, absolutely. You do good things. So they step up this week. Mm-hmm. He gets his backman on. He yep. gets his two votes. Okay. Three votes, though. Sends him to the top of the leaderboard. Wow. Harris Andrews. Boy. He's now equal first with Tom Barras, followed by then Jack Buckley, Sam Collins, and Dougal Howard. Harris Andrews, you're our new leader. Brennan well Cox done. slips his way into the top six as well. So, <laughs> look, that, that's, that's what a top six backman in the league should look like. I understand Darcy Moore's had a good year. I understand my computer's making noises still. <laughs> Harris Andrews moves to the top. Great backman. Tom Barras plays for a shocking team. Still gets the job done. Best. Didn't get his job done the weekend. Nope. I can tell you that. He was concussed, though. Uh, Jack Buckley still right there. Sam Collins, Dougal Howard, and Brennan Cox. Yeah. Br- brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, last thing. Tomorrow's guest. Tomorrow's guest. Paige Hadley. She plays for the Swifts. This weekend has a must-win game to get into the grand final for the Super uh, the Suncorp Super Netball League. So we, we spoke to Paige before yeah. our final. Uh, Friday, was it Friday we spoke to? Are you the curse? Do you think you might be the curse? <laughs> spoke to her. She lost. I the didn't fi- speak to anyone at West Coast. They lost the didn't final. Uh, you've done the Sydney Swan flag thing. They've yep. lost the game. Okay. Maybe I am cursed. Paige Hadley, she'll be lining up in a finals game uh, this weekend. Going to be good. It was a really great chat, actually. She's yeah. come back from a few injuries. She's done her ACL. She was one of the best in the country before she did that. And then she worked her way back to being one of those best in the country. Been in and out of Diamond Squad. She's won Commonwealth Games gold medals. And it's a good chat if you like. enjoy uh, sporting things, Daniel. Yes, absolutely. Okay, one, I'm going to read you out an email before. And I'm. you know what? We're going to read an email. We're going to go over to Sydney. We're going to take the email to Sydney. Great. And Tom and Eddie, this is where the episode randomly kicks in. So like we said, it's a bit of a rando episode. But so do I get to say goodbye to everyone now? Yeah, say goodbye to everyone. Yeah. And then I'm going to read uh, I'm going to read an email. We'll do a little Fleet Network ad. And okay, then we're great. going to go to Sydney. Big thanks to our supporters, our sponsors. Whippersnapper Whiskey, Margaret River Roasting Co., Blue Bet, Shelter Brewing Co., Leadable Cameras, Fleet Network powering uh, the podcast, to KO Sports for bringing us Paige Hadley. We thank all of you guys. Make sure you remember the three things from this episode. Uh, beers with back chat back back chat ale thursday 6 30 at the gate uh, we've got the big patron giveaway make sure you sign up to patreon um, to get your stuff for wednesday midday's draw for the four seats in the box and what's the most important thing we've learned today dan what's the number one i think i'd like people to remember push record Press the fucking record button, Nick, the producer. Otherwise, you're fired. Uh, follow us on socials, backchat double underscore. You can send us an email, hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Find all of that stuff, backchatstudios.com.au or backchat underscore studios. There's a bit going on. So much going on. But I'm breathing now and I'm, we're back to normal. And we're going to leave this. We're gonna leave you this from Nathan. Why is it that every other code, in, uh, code of sport in the world, if you hit the post during play, it mm-hmm. bounces back in? 
the game keeps going? Why is it the AFL go for a point? Who better to ask than us, AFL guys, or the NRL guys, that when it does bounce off the post, it's play on in the NRL. Let's go have a look. Looking to save thousands on your next car and bundle your running costs, Hammer? Yes, I am. <laughs> Look no <laughs> further than Fleet Network. I thought you might be. Salary package your car and unlock savings and benefits with a Novated lease. Nova Ted, yep. Novated leasing, you'll use your pre tax income to pay for your car and running costs like fuel, servicing, red Joe, insurance. I wonder if they pay fines. They better. Parking mm. fines, speeding fines. You paid mine yet? Yep, well. You have? Yeah, I've done it. Okay, yep. thank nice. you. This lowers your taxable income, saving you money. At, you should worry about this because bringing that taxable income, that big one of yours that you're rolling around with, Come on. saving you money and reducing the cost of running your car, your repayment is drawn from your salary. So you don't need to do a thing, Hammer. Wow. Not, not needing to do a thing. That's got to be a positive. I mean, I do like doing no things. <laughs> What's more, they'll source your choice of car from their nationwide supplier network and negotiate exclusive discounts. It sounds like Patreons. Mm. And I mean patrons. <laughs> Plus, you pay no upfront fees and no GST on your car's purchase price. As Novated Leasing and Salary Packaging Experts for more than 25 years. How old are you? I'm 25. There you go. Okay, oh, thank you. Wow. Me Fleet, and Nova Ted. Fleet Network will make your move to Novated Leasing simple and stress-free. Getting started is easy. Contact Fleet Network today or visit their website, www.fleetnetwork.com.au to get started and feel the freedom of Novated Leasing. I know you don't like it when I say www. You didn't put a dot yeah, after it. Yeah, www. Fleet. I think there's a dot in there. Okay, you, you guys figure it out. You know what to do. Fleetnetwork.com.au. No! Tell me about the what's, yeah. What's so going if on? you hit the post, right, it's just play on. If it goes out, it's out. But like if it go, if it hits the post and goes in, it's in. Right. If it hits the post and comes out, just go for the fucking wall. Go so nice. we get a point for hitting the post. You, oh, get, a you get a point. You get, you get a point for missing. You get a point for missing the fucking goal. Correct. Yeah. But missing. you get the same amount of points. Do you get a point for hitting the outside post? No. Or is that out? Free kick on the full to the other team. So if you hit it on the full. It's a free kick to the opposition. What? Of the outside post. Yes, but if you hit it like on the bounce, it's a boundary throw in. Okay, so you can only hit the two middle posts yeah. for a point. So like okay. you you almost got a goal, have a point. Yeah, if you yeah, touch yeah, yeah. it and it goes through for a behind, is that That's a, also a point. That's a point. That is a point. And if you touch it going through for a goal, it's a point. It's a point. So those that seems that so seems, I can it give should my, be no I can points. score a point for you like an own goal. All right, I've got. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's another way you can score a point. Bring up your uh, the way you scored a point one time. Um, this is one of the all-time great Will Schofield highlights. How many goals do you kick in your career? You, you would have had twenty-seven, <laughs> 27 clubs. One, <laughs> one you'd claim would have been goal of the year. Um, but I think you got goal of the year. Well, it was fucking goal of the year, mate. <laughs> Did it win goal of the week? Goal of the week. You got goal of the week. Yeah, yeah well, mate, please. Uh, know, this is one. Of, this is probably my favorite Will Schofield highlight that's available on the internet. Um, <laughs> this is <laughs> what your goal of the week. Is Just look it? up Will Schofield goal of the week. <laughs> oh, Fucking ninety nine. Yeah, or something. show show him your um show him your goal of the week. Goal of the week. You should start giving out goal of the week merch. Top ten plays Schofield. <laughs> <No. Wow. laughs> there we go. That's all right. I got it. Here we go. Oh, Fucking oh. shout out to YouTube. Real oh goal of the year contender. Show me where oh. you are. Where you at? He's got the ball. Oh, hey, look at your hair. Damn, son. So just, just, see, just see where I get this pill. Oh, yeah. oh no. Just see where I get this pill. Yeah, that's it. Oh right. shit, yeah. Yeah. Bang. Where's that? Way back. Way back. Oh, not even at the fucking centre field. Bang. Oh, show and go. What's oh. up, baby? Bounce. Boost. Wants it back. Begs it for it back. Give me oh, it back. yeah. Give me it back. Some candy? Bang. That'd oh. be nice. Oh. Oh, Bang. 50 out. Yeah, oh. oh, that's oh. a ripper. Yeah. That's a ripper. Fucking good. That's, that's goal good. of the year. That's, <laughs> that's goal of the year. Tell me you didn't get dropped the next week as the most yeah. dropped player. Were you it? frothing? Oh, fuck it. I thought I was frothing. This is another way to score a point here. Kicking out. Me kicking out. So this is kicking out after a behind. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. No, that's so oh, good. Oh, that's good stuff. It is. Holy shit. <laughs> They're very animated, the flag the, the flag umpires. people. What are yeah. they called? Flag people? Golem pies. Golem pies. Yeah. And, they give, and they give these ones. 
You guys, yes. do you have a little? Oh, you just have two guys waving. We got flags. dudes on the sidelines. You, you reckon you should get a guy? They used to wear How these like. Um, you got the heaps, don't you, in the game? Yeah, they've just brought in another. We've got four field umpires. We've got uh, two boundaries, two goals. So there's nine umpires. So on the field at any one time, there's four different yes. um, like refs. Yeah, game. that's right. Yeah. We, is there some? Is there a head ref? I mean, we don't. Have, we're not playing on a 50 meter oval like you. Boys. No, but is there a head? Like. Is there a head ref? Is there one to rule no, the refs? No, there's a controlling umpire. So if it's in their section. They they commu- they've all got they're all mic'd up and they yeah. communicate. So yours, yours, yours. So like usually they look after a third each. Um, and so someone is always adjudicating, but then someone off the back in the back third can if they see someone getting hold off the ball, they yeah. can pay a free kick. Does do the goal lumps get picked on there? Yes, I these ones. Whip the fingers yeah. out. You got to whip. Like, like you got you, you got to probably whip. David them. Roden used to play in the yeah, AFL and he's, he's he's converted to a goal umpire. He used to play. Oh, yeah. um, is indigenous la- uh, no he's from Fiji and he is one of the great umpires of all time he does he does it with a massive smile on his face oh, every yeah, time right. like just comes up it. to the front and just goes oh fuck yeah, yeah. just yeah. gets up and he's ripped oh really ripped alright Dan give me some uh, let's do some fucking fines I reckon big fella what do you, what do you yeah, yeah sounds good uh, hello backchat podcast I'll come to you the, that's our email address you don't need to know that backchatstudios.com.au is our email address uh, fuck it's our website and you can record fines and send them in Okay. All right. Give it to me, boys. G'day, legends. And Dan. <laughs> Seymour Flange here. I uh, just wanted to find Dan. $2.50. Uh, last week's episode in the Schwimply the Best section. Uh, Daniel reads out a message from his mother in law. And the start of the message said, Does or did dad let you know? Right, right, right. But it infers that Dan calls his father in law dad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's. That's not on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you're 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 calling your parents and your mum and dad is okay, but. Uh, yeah, I asked quite a few of my mates because I thought it was a bit weird, and most of us agree it's pretty fucking weird. <laughs> have, a, have a little hefty fine for that, Dan, and, and reassess, mate. That may be one is of the best. True? Is that, that is true? Is that true? Is that fucking true? Uh, so they, I, I, I go between first name and and yeah, dad. Sometimes you call him they, dad. They, dad. they uh, both of them said like they, were, they wanted me to call them, especially Beck's uh, wife's mum. She was like, yeah, call me mum. It is. Call it took, me it took, mom. A, took a while, honestly, and it's weird. And I, listen, I try not to do it, but each to their own. Listen, I'm not going to. That's a. That's I'm not going to. I'm not going to judge, but I've never heard of that before. I will say that my my wife's mum and dad are in my phone as mum and dad. Really? Yeah. Is so I, don't, I certainly Australian don't call thing. them mum and dad. Is it a Western Australian? Vic- thing? I'm Victorian. So yeah, no. that you live in Western Australia. So I don't well, you don't cross the border and just start fucking doing weird shit. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> no, you do. Actually, you probably do. You probably do. <laughs> That's not, it's I've, not a, I've heard of um, no, like not. parents calling their in-law children like, oh, you know, like my old man will refer to my wife as like his second daughter. But you don't really call your kids son and daughter that, like, unless you're old English. My in-laws kids. will call me son, but it's like tongue in cheek. Yeah. Because they don't have one. Well, no, yeah, he, then they want one. Yeah. yeah, well, they wanted one. Yeah, they I did. think it's too late. No, yeah, it's <laughs> too late. Right, give, us, give us the next fine. Dollar fine. Can we turn it up Scully. a little bit? Scoey, mate, your sport facts are horrific. It's like you've never actually watched a decent amount of sport in your whole life. Yes, I know, I'm a, I'm a footy and a cricket nuffy. You don't need to be like that. But the way you just spin out these facts like you know it all when you don't know anything, <laughs> mate, it wasn't S- Graham Swan bowling a warning. It was Dan Vittori. It was at the Wacker. It's New Zealand. Mate, just pull your head in. P.S. I love you guys. You're the best. We'll be best friends forever. Thanks. What did I fuck? What did he pull me up on? Sounds like you fuck d- something up, mate. Dan yeah. Vittori. Well, is he's that, basically saying you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Who gives about. a fuck about Dan Vittori? The fucking glasses wearing oh, four eyed fucking. Yeah, fucking you both with glasses, mate. Seriously, can't yeah. trust you. Yeah. Is that Listen. what it is? Did I hear Dan Vittori's name in there yeah, somewhere? Yeah, look. I, mean, I, I, I thought he was just basically coming at you for not knowing what you're talking about. I, we, we yeah, what I took we away from that was that. you talk a lot of shit. Yeah, well. Yeah. Hey, what you do to your that finger? One, Sorry yeah. to ask you a personal it's, question. It's not looking good, it's is it? It's not looking good. It looks like What's, it's... What looks has... Like bruh, what has happened? It happened? looks like the bones Can you straighten that escape? anymore? No. Is that permanent? Yes. What have you done? <laughs> 
Um, well, Jeff. footy boys. I, was, like I, I haven't been sitting around making podcasts for the last 10 years. Like <laughs> well, you boys, you're well, yeah, podcasting. Soft, yeah, soft, soft, soft and yeah. supple, man. Yeah, baby's bum. <laughs> the way I like it. <laughs> But what have you done to it? I don't know. It's just like it's. Like, it's surely you it's, break it, it and then you go. Let's get this fixed. It's arthritic, I believe. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's. It's been knocked. It's been dislocated and knocked around. You should get a little saddle made for it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get some fucking saddle yeah. figure saddles in? Get a saddle ring. <laughs> Get that a saddle, dude, so with a little jockey on it, bro. <laughs> Some legs hanging over either side. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Next one. Strap down to the nail. <laughs> G'day, boys. It's Shay Vertwat here. Uh, this is just a little fine for Dan and Will. $4. Um, okay. This is for your Airbnb ad. It's terrible. <laughs> Sounds like you blokes are reading off a script, which you obviously are. Get back in that studio and re-record and oh, Jesus. get them their money's worth. See you, lads. Oh. Bye. Shout out to Airbnb. Yeah. <laughs> it's, listen, I like it. It's, I like hard, it. it's hard to do, boys. Mate, they weren't scripted. They were. Oh, they were. All right. We got the scripts through. The, mate, the punters know when they're scripted. Well, they? We got the scripts through. We had to rewrite them. They were, they were written by some sort of AI. Oh, dude, uh, yeah, really bad. Well, that's what's happening now, right? Yes. It's all AI. Yeah, correct. But even like, I mean. I guarantee you, actually, someone's yeah. sitting there going, fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, AI, you Pod, write it. Podcast ad for Airbnb, yeah. write it. Like, fucking send it on. Get them to do that. Who gives a fuck? That's pretty much what it's like. So, yeah, go and give us another. I'll take $4 on board. No worries. G'day, legends. Hello. And Dan, Joe Bloggs here. I'm sending in a $2 fine for Carl Langdon for an absolutely atrocious crossover on Nine News Perth about there being no Taylor Swift concerts in Perth. It was absolutely terrible, cringeworthy. If you haven't seen it, go look it up. Um, but yeah, he definitely needs to cop one for this. Cheers. Have we got the vision or audio of this? We do. Did Perth miss out on, on Taylor? So, so we missed out on so Taylor. Did Brizzy. Did Brizzy. Yeah. Who did we get that, that, that no one else Coldplay. got? We're Coldplay, boys. No one yeah, else gets it. I hate Coldplay. I don't, I don't actually. I'm a fucking bit of a Coldplay. So they're just guy. coming old to stuff, Perth. Though. Only Perth. Yeah, old stuff, agree. <laughs> Only coming to Perth, always. Yeah, we missed out on um, Taylor Swift. What, what's Carl? So have we got audio? Just well, all I can say, Brooke, is uh, don't blame me. Uh, and look, on the back of uh, Coldplay uh, saying that they're only going to be playing here, uh, I knew all too well there would be karma. But you know what? We will shake it off in true WA style and there'll be no bad blood. And like oh. our newsreader, Olivia Donaldson, uh, she's already <laughs> planning her trip to live out her wildest dreams. Yeah. And, uh, you know, prop up someone else's economy because we're doing okay <laughs> over here. That no bad blood. Like Carl. That's Carl. Really bad. Why, why, why do you have to be a fucking gimp when you're a newsreader? Like, <laughs> it's, it's it, comes, it comes with a job title when you sign the contract. It must so be why a do you don't a need to be a gimp anymore? So, like, Carl. Carl, Carl Langdon was a premiership player at West Coast and now in the media. Good oh, man, sorry, Carl. Man. Work with Carl. Sorry, Carl. But but also Carl. That man, was, that was up, awful. Man. Real dr- Le- is dribbly it, behavior. It's always leave your pride at the door stuff, though. <laughs> it does. You see you it all the time. I mean, with, like, don't like, come to work with your pride. because <laughs> When you're doing yeah. like zoo, you won't like need zoo crosses and shit, and, you know, it's like <laughs> yeah. a, little, a perfect Saturday. And it's like <laughs> a cat or something. It's like, fuck me, dude. Bingo, the orangutan has had a baby. All right, give us a go. Hi guys, it's Buster Nutner. Oh, uh, I just oh, want to give a quick old fine to uh, some parents of one of my uh, f- son's friends. Uh, they all play in the same Oz kit team, and uh, every week parents have chosen to bring orange slices, chocolates, or help out the coach. You know how it goes. Yeah. Uh, but every week that these guys get chosen, uh, they always have an excuse as to why they can't come down to Oz kick. Now, it's a $5 bag of oranges or, you know, a couple of pack- packets of chockies. It's not a real big deal. I don't understand why they keep doing this. So I think a $5 fine should go to them. And I think a little name and shame here as well with uh, her name being, uh, here it is, uh, Anita Root and her husband, Do You Want a Root? So just a $5 fine to those two people. They're, they're really unfortunate names. Bye. <laughs> that that's, was... that's like Diet Coke, course, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I don't even have Diet Coke there. <laughs> I mean, one more? Okay, here we go. G'day, lads. It's Big Bag of Dicks here. <laughs> I'd like to find you, Will, for $5 right for up. continually riding off the Brisbane Lions. Mm. They're going right, mate. Just admit it. Fuck you, Scotty. <laughs> 
So, did Brizzy fucking win? They did, didn't they? Fuck, mate. We watched it last night. Look, I don't know how you boys feel about Brisbane, but I don't feel well about them. They can't win away from home. This was their oh, first right, win. The this was the first fucking win away from the Gabba they've had in fucking 10 years. I thought they were really night. good at the moment. I thought they, they were like <laughs> playing off fucking... All I know about the Lions is they won the three in a row. They're third on the ladder. Ackermanis, Jonathan Brown. They won three in a row. Which is impressive. 0 2 0 3 Is that right? How many did Richmond win in a row? Uh, two. two. Uh, two. They Has went... anyone won three in a row since? Um, Hawks. Hawks won three in a row. They went... 13, 14, 15. We, they beat us in 15, so thank you for bringing up that suppressed mm. memory that I've never thought about. Well, I think about. they beat us as well in one of those <laughs> Swannies, the Bloods. Boys, got to be honest, I want to get to the footy. Uh, West Coast Swans, uh, it's been lovely sharing you uh, here at the Swimply uh, House of uh, Horrors or House of whatever this is. Uh, Swimply the best. Thank you very much. Hello, sport. Looking forward to having a beer at the footy with you, boys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Uh, yeah, and if you want to sign up on Patreon, do you guys run our Patreon? No, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, hello, uh, sorry, backchatpodcast.com. You can sign up there. You can sign up, boys. Sign up. Five bucks a month. Coffee a month. Fucking it's nice. that easy. Support our pod. Coffee a month. What's on there? Look, Nudes? What's on there? Special things, but there is okay. there's disc- No, no, that's fair. There's discounts to our sponsors. We have a snack. Nudes or not. I'll tell you what's fucking on there. We've got a giveaway this week. A couple of things to announce that I've completely forgotten about. Uh, beers with back chat at the gate. We've fucking released our own beer, boys. Oh. Shelter, a beer for Backman. I mean, Heck far out, dick. it's good. Uh, so that's at the gate Thursday. S- time? I'm looking at it right now. Fuck. Just get there. Get to the gate, Coburn. Get there. Get there first. First light. First light. It'll be a, there'll be a limit limited release. Have a. I don't no, know. It's, you, it, listen, you showed us the other day. The oh, branding's yeah, yeah. ridiculously Dude, good. That's mad. Back chat. BC brewed for Backman. It's good stuff. The gate and bistro punters and dribblers. 29th of June from 6:30 p.m. I believe that's local time. Yes, <laughs> it's local time. <laughs> that wouldn't be that wouldn't that be A E D T, would it? <laughs> no, sure. well A S A E S A E D S T. Well, it's not daylight time, so it's standard. So we've got that happening Thursday, and then on the weekend, and we're giving this away tomorrow. You're listening to this Tuesday. We're giving it away Wednesday. We're giving away four seats to a private VIP. Well, it's not private with other people, but it is a VIP box. Hectic. Four people. They'll get over four thousand dollars. Jesus. It's an, Are you it's, it's an eight. It's an eight. It's an eight. <laughs> no, it's, it's Indian rupiah. <laughs> so so uh, it, it's it's a it's a eight hour package, fully catered, fully serviced, St Kilda v West Coast, oh, Optus wow. Stadium. Will you be there? Yeah. We, we we have given up our seats for oh, our yeah, patrons. That's nice. For that's our good. patrons. So you want to get involved in that? Sign up to Patreon. We'll be drawing that. You get one if you're fo- if you're if you're if you're a liker, you get one vote. You get if you're a, if you're a lover, you get two. If you live for back chat, you get five entries in the. I don't know. Four thousand dollars. I don't know how much more we can do for our VIPs. I don't boys. think there's. Any have you ever done that? Do. No, we. Four thousand dollar prize. We, we haven't done that. No, we haven't done that. We haven't done that. No. All right, let's let's go to the footy. We're done. Thanks, boys. Yeah. Thank you. Here we go. Breakdown of the Sydney West Coast game. Daniel Const in a scarf. I'm going to let you take the lead, mate, because okay. I'm not the one who's embarrassed. I am embarrassed. I feel disgraced. I feel sick. I feel I can't think of the superlatives that's going to get me through talking about the West Coast Eagles. Hello, was, patrons. Hello, patrons. Hello, patrons. This Hello. is this is a breakdown. This is fresh. It's a VIP break, this breakdown. This is a fresh wound straight well, off the Sydney I'd Swans. I want you to talk about uh, your decision to wear the scarf. Yeah. Okay. The entire game. So we took the Hello Sport boys to the game, and shout out Hello Sport. Boys. Shout out Hello Sport. We went to the merch stand. And t- Tom, Tom very generously said, let, mate, let me get you a scarf. And I said... Did you buy the scarf for him? Yeah. Did you purchase <laughs> he put, it? I turned him. He, he turned me. Coat, we're getting to we're getting that. I, and I said, yes, mate. All right, yeah, let me get a, I'll get a scarf. Then I ended up wearing a scarf the entire game. Did I curse the West Coast Eagles? Yes. Could have they won if I didn't wear a scarf? Yes. Were... Were they embarrassed to the nth degree? Yes. And it's all because of this scarf. I'd like to ask, have you ever been more embarrassed than you are right now? Because I think you embarrassed yourself today. It was rough. 
it was really rough. And you know what? We're in this box. We're in a very nice box. Shout out to the Sydney Swans. Shout out Sydney Swans. Putting us in that box there. Shout out Scoey. Shout out Scoey for hooking up with the Sydney Swans, getting us that box. Uh, and I really, I. Shout out the West Coast Eagles social media team. Oh boy, they, they are that they are many in posts. a situation that's very difficult. They they the they word. have put a post up on Instagram, dismantled one word, full stop. Boys, boys, you'll enjoy this. West Coast Eagles social media team put a post up. End of the game. One word, full stop. Dismantled. <laughs> dismantled. Yeah, it's actually dismantled. Not harsh dismantled. enough. I, I replied. I replied to the the tweet. They did the same thing. I said, "Please don't put the boy on this post." They put a picture of Ruben Jinby hunched not over. Fair. Not fair. It's not fair on the boy. He played very well. Did as best as he could. Um, it's been good being in Sydney. We've enjoyed it. That game did not top things off for me, unfortunately. <laughs> um, you're, you've you've worn a Sydney scarf. We got delivered a lot of food. Oh, at that box People oh, just mate. generously Giving us pie Sausage rolls mate, Curries It was <sighs> But the game Was a disgrace uh, I, I, I honestly I don't know what to say I just I just copped it For three hours Let me, let me read you Some of the stats Errol Goulden uh, Three goals 32 touches Best on ground Of course Isaac Heaney had nine shots on goal as a high half forward. Five goals, four, 22 disposals. Uh, jo- uh, Joel and Marty, four goals. Groove. Logan McDonald, four goals. I don't even know this guy's first name. Hayden McLean, three goals, two, five shots on goal for Big Hayden. Uh, Chad Warner from the midfield, 33 and two goals, two. Probably unlucky not to get a vote. Or maybe I gave him a vote, can't remember. Gave him two votes. Um... Again, Ryan Clark. He's, <laughs> What's his photo? Ryan Clark's kicked two goals. One. You've you've you haven't had a good day at the office. No. Would you like to give something to the West Coast fans out there? A little bit of hope. What's going to happen after this week? This is the loss that turns the West Coast Eagles season around. Really? They bounce back from here, and I can't see them losing more games than they win for the rest of the season. So it's round 14 or 15. They're going to win more games than they lose. This is this, I, I tell you this, West Coast fans. This is the loss that turns the West Coast Eagles season around and it starts the build. Like, guys, we talk about the rebuild for a little while. Guys. This is the game. Right, I've had enough. That, that sort of stuff, that's, that's <laughs> sums West Coast up. You're absolutely in denial. I've had enough. You can, you can do the last part by yourself. Okay. Finish it off. I don't know what else to say. When you when you're at a game surrounded by fans of the opposite uh, the opposing team, and you you you're yelling you you're yelling loud, getting around the boys. I don't know what else I can do. I wore the scarf. I wore a Sydney scarf. I'll take the I'll take oh I'll take the scarf off. I'm stuck in my sunglasses. I'll take the scarf off. I'll tell you what. This is the Turning point, absolutely. Mark my words. Round is this round fifteen? Round fifteen, two thousand and twenty-three. Rock bottom for the West Coast Eagles. All uphill from here. No, let's go. Yeah, five and three. Or all, all four and four. Let's let's go. Let's go five hundred or above. West Coast Eagles. Mark my words. I'm going to I'm going to present the Premiership Cup in 2027.